alkaline water is a subtly devious product that may have fooled us silly. Tom Brady, Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, you know what they have in common? They're famous, they're all apparently health conscious, and they're all drinking alkaline water. Yo, are they on to something or what? The alkaline water industry is on fire. It's projected to hit a valuation of $3 billion by the mid 2030s. But even more so, I walked into a gas station and could not believe how many water bottles had the word alkaline on them. Popular brands like this one market their water as supercharged and overachieving H2O. So I was curious, what actually makes alkaline water superior, right? I'm asking the big questions. What happens when I drink alkaline water? Is this stuff really supercharged? Is it really all that great? I think you're gonna find the answers interesting. Watch the entire video. This video is brought to you by Element. To understand the whole alkaline water thing, we have to go back to some good old high school chemistry. When we measure acidity or alkalinity, we use the pH scale. You see, acidic is a word for fluids that contain a high concentration of acid ions, in this case, hydrogen or hydronium ions for all my chemistry nerds. I studied anatomy and phys. If you wanna leave your chemistry below, I ain't holding you. This scale jumps pretty quickly. Coffee and stomach acid are both acidic. However, while coffee has a pH of five, stomach acid has a pH of one. On this scale, we're saying stomach acid is actually 10,000 times more concentrated with acid ions than coffee. Basic, these are fluids that contain a high concentration of basic ions. If you wanna make a fluid less acidic, you can add something basic and they balance each other out. For example, when you have heartburn, Heartburn is just when you feel irritated by stomach acid. You need to quit, boy, slow down. Tums is basic. It's made of calcium bicarbonate. Remember that word. Tums is an alkaline substance. Tums reacts with the stomach acid, neutralizing it and settling that acid burning filling. Alkaline water seems to be based on the same idea. If you don't want too many acids in your body, then what's the solution? Mixing in alkaline water, of course, right? Alkaline water seems to be marketing itself to those who want to achieve some kind of greater balance under some wispy understanding of them being superior. Well, is it? So this sounds attractive, but does it actually work? At first I wanted to know where did this acid is bad idea started to permeate the airwaves? Where did this come from? I found this interesting book published in just 2002 called The PH Miracle by Robert O. Young. This guy played a key role in popularizing the idea that acids are toxins that must be dealt with in the body. In a letter to a patient, he wrote, pain is acid and acid is pain. There are some crazy pain theorists in the health space, but this one is just like, what? Young took things even further. He said, all sickness and disease can be prevented by managing the delicate pH balance of the fluids of the body. Trying to understand pain, right? I talked about pain in a previous video. It is literally one of the most elusive mechanisms, but it's still highly precise and sophisticated and isn't as studied and understood uh, relative to all the other things that we already know about the body. So sometimes we have these reaching theories to try to make sense of it all. Young's methods though, really start to boggle the mind. He actually injected a patient with baking soda in, in order to neutralize some of the acids in the body. Later I found that this guy was later prosecuted this year, 2025, right? We're talking about this because he basically told somebody not to get chemotherapy, but he's not really an actual physician or whatever. Be careful who you get advice from. People don't be licensed in these streets. People just set up a camera in the corner of their room and sit and talk about things that they Googled like, <laughs> The best way to understand Young's mistake is to read his own words. He once asked, if the fish is sick, what would you do? Treat the fish or change the water? Here's the thing. There's just this fundamental understanding we need to have about the body's fluid, particularly. It's not just some tank of stirring liquids. Silly goose. Don't you see this video is about something far more important than if alkaline water is good or bad or if it actually does something? something we're gonna go over that I really want you to know. And in fact, I'm just gonna give you a hint about alkaline water ahead of time. There is a more superior water. In fact, our DNA expects us to consume this water and we'll definitely get into it here in a bit. It's very simple. But first, before we go there, I uh, would like to ask you for something. I know you don't get asked this much, but uh, I uh, would like for you to hit the like button. I'm so sorry. Our bodies are more sophisticated, but let's simplify it. Think of like a fish tank with its own filtration system, monitoring devices, and maybe even one of those little algae eaters that keep the tank clean. 
Look at this little guy. I never had a fish. Young's mistake is actually all of our mistakes. Assuming that we can manipulate the body's internal balance without understanding first how it maintains it. You see, the blood, just like the stomach, has its own pH level and its own pH balance. A healthy blood pH ranges between 735 and 745. This is so important that the body has more than one buffer system on the job. Our lungs and our kidneys. We know the lungs to breathe out carbon dioxide or CO2. This is actually a core function of controlling our blood's minute to minute pH. CO2 is a byproduct of cellular metabolism. In other words, a byproduct of simply existing, you're going to produce CO2. CO2 notably is also in an equilibrium relationship with hydrogen in the blood. What does that mean? If the hydrogen concentration in the blood starts to rise too high, it forms with bicarbonate. Remember that word from earlier? The same thing in Tums. Bicarbonate neutralizes hydrogen and is subsequently turned into H2O and carbon dioxide to then be breathed out. Don't get lost in the sauce here. I know we're talking chemistry, but bicarbonate isn't some foreign substance that's in, only found in Tums, right? It's naturally inherent in the body. And because of that, it actually is ready on go to neutralize hydrogen and check it in its place in order for it to be turned into those two byproducts of water and carbon dioxide. Now for the kidneys, bicarbonate is known as a uh, electrolyte and electrolytes are managed at the kidney, determining fluid balance. If blood is too acidic, bicarbonate is reabsorbed to keep in the body to neutralize the hydrogens. So the lungs are like a ventilation system for the blood itself, right? Uh, or something like a chimney that's directing the smoke out of the home to keep the inside from becoming too smoky. And kidneys are like festival security guards, right? That's why you gotta put the wristband on when you go into festival so you can get that re-entry and they're at the gate checking you like, yo, you get the wristband, what? To see this internal balance system in action, let's walk through what happens when you chug a bottle of alkaline water. This study found that the five most popular brands of high pH alkaline waters all had a pH of about 10. So let's take that as our starting point. Real quick, when we say alkaline, we're talking about fluids packed with hydroxide ions. Okay, so we start out with the refreshing sip of any of the most popular brands of commercially available alkaline water. The second it reaches the stomach, the alkaline water starts mixing with everything that's in there. And mostly, what's in there is acid. Really, really strong acid called hydrochloric acid at a high concentration. Hydroxide ions would rather combine with our acidic hydrogen ions than do pretty much anything else. They're hella clingy. When hydrogen and hydroxide ions meet, they neutralize each other and form water. And, and that's actually how you can think about the pH scale, a measurement of how any liquid feels about hydrogen ions. Those here on the right want to accept hydrogen ions. On the acidic side, the farther you get away from neutral, the more hydrogen ions that liquid could potentially give away or donate. Left side donates, right side accepts. So with tons of acidic hydrogen ions packed into this hydrochloric stomach acid, it's ready to donate. The pH of the stomach is right around one, which means it's ready to dissolve whatever it touches just about instantly. In fact, the stomach itself, right, the organ is only protected by the mucus lining that protects the stomach's walls from your juices. As desperate as the alkaline water is to accept hydrogen ions, the stomach acid is 10,000 times more hyped about giving them away. So pretty much right away, all those extra hydroxides start meeting some of those extra hydrogens and your alkaline water becomes, well, just water. The pH in the stomach is still extremely acidic. Even if we did have a moment with the alkaline water to raise the pH a little bit, specialized cells called parietal cells will just churn out more acid until it's back to normal. So if the hydroxides become water, right? If the alkaline water just turns into just water when we drink it, how does it make it to the blood to be able to do all the amazing stuff that it promises? It doesn't. And that's actually a really good thing. Drinking alkaline to change blood pH or for some type of wispy understanding of balance is like trying to sneak a water bottle past TSA. They ain't having it. Except the kidneys and the lungs actually like their jobs. But alkaline water isn't all bad. I'm actually going to give it a few reasons of vindication here at the end. But we have to take a moment to actually talk about this idea of drinking superior water. Is this a thing or not? Okay, I told you to remember bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is fascinating. It's not really exactly uh, itself a mineral like most of the other electrolytes. The fact that it's inherent in the body, and what I mean by that is it has a home in the body, right? Our DNA expects to produce cells that have to handle it, right? So because of that, this speaks to its it indicates its influence. All electrolytes are inherent in the body. They all have a home. Electrolytes are basically dissolved minerals in the body. Where do minerals come from? The dirt. 
soil, right? Ideally, soil is filtering our water. That's how we get spring water. So the water cycle itself is designed to produce water with minerals in it, right? Which is normal water. It's the only water that actually has a physiological influence. So when it comes to the stuff that we do to water, right? Electrolytes are the only thing that have a command of the water in the body. Water with minerals in it. That's the water that our DNA expects us to drink. And that's the water that I recommend to hydrate. Boom, there it is. If you would like to actually see how purified, right? How purified your water is, you can get one of these. I linked it down below, uh, Amazon affiliate link. It is a PPM measuring tool. And essentially, the smaller the number, the less concentrated your water is. The higher the number, the higher the concentration of solutes is. And it's a really handy thing to see if you are drinking water that is packed with solutes or if you're drinking water that is nearly naked. Now, our sponsor. Element is for those of us that are active or taking up fasting, right? Sweating often in the sun, looking to hydrate even more because guzzling purified water doesn't actually get us there. Reason being, hydration has everything to do with not water alone, but water and its corresponding electrolytes. Because water balance, right? The proper distribution between the water inside of our cells and our bloodstream is actually how we achieve hydration. And that is the job of electrolytes. Sports drink companies and other companies, they're doing electrolytes too. You can also just put salt in your water. But I like Element because if you look at the others, they're giving you electrolytes, but in trivial amounts and extra fluff. And they always taste a little off. Not Element. They taste fantastic. They really figured it out. Give them a go. They just released Element Lemonade, giving you guys a refreshing taste for the summer heat. You can't go wrong with any of their flavors. In fact, you can get a sample pack of all of them with any purchase on their site using no lab core requires link below. And you can do this more than once if you've already used our link. Thank you, Element, for being a channel sponsor. Although we'd love to make some kind of balancing equilibrium impact with alkaline water, the body already has that pH checked. But before I dismiss it completely, we gotta check our biases, right? Is there any reason to not pass on the alkaline water fat? I found two reasons. Number one, it could potentially soothe stomach aches, even if we don't know why. One group of scientists studied functional dyspepsia, a super scientific way to say a persistent belly ache that has no obvious cause. They found that some of the patients who routinely drank alkaline water rather than the same amount of tap water saw improvement in their symptoms. Even when the patients weren't told which type of water they were drinking, negating the placebo effect. They guess that it might have to do with that temporary minor decrease in stomach acidity before the water gets neutralized. The same mechanism behind the Tums. Number two, it tastes good. Th this may not seem like much, but some people really enjoy drinking alkaline water to the degree that they'll probably end up drinking more if it's alkaline versus boring old tap. And we all know, even the alkaline water brands, that drinking more water is usually a good thing. And I'm not gonna judge you. I just boil tap water to put chocolate element in it. Mm. I'm fasting. I'm actually 15 minutes past the break point where I'm supposed to be eating. So I'm ending this video. I'm gonna get about y'all way. Hope you guys gained some insight and perspective. Set that backward for the first time ever in history. Subtly, subtly, subtle, subtly divas. Alkaline water is a subtly divas, 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 divas and butthead. Devious, devious, say it with me. Uh. Uh.